So you're carrying around some extra pounds that you just don't want anymore. You need to lose the extra weight and you know that you need to adjust your calories so you can burn it off. But just how many calories should you be eating in order to lose that extra weight fast? Well, fear not, because by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what you need to do in order to lose that extra weight. And spoiler alert, it does not contain any fad diets, magic pills, or the latest diet craze. We're gonna be sticking to good old fashioned science and evidence-based nutrition. So if you're looking for a genuine solution to weight loss, stay tuned till the end. Coach Ben here, and I'm a certified nutritionist specializing in helping busy professionals get their energy back lose the weight and gain muscle without being tied to the gym, eating food they hate or doing mind-numbing cardio. So if that sounds like you, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Firstly, the amount of calories that you need to consume in order to lose weight is specific to you. There is no magic number that people can simply quote at the population as the right amount of calories to lose weight and simply say, fine, for a calorie deficit, we all must but eat 1500 calories a day. It has to be worked out for you specifically, but don't panic as I'm gonna give you a super easy way to work out both your maintenance calories and your weight loss calorie target that involves no complicated math, I promise. The specific amount of calories that your body needs to consume a day to keep everything in balance is made up of a multitude of different factors, including your gender, age, height, weight, activity level, they all have an important part to play in coming up with this magical caloric figure known as your maintenance calories. Eat at your maintenance calories and you're gonna maintain your current weight, which if your energy out, which is the calories your body burns a day, keeping it alive, moving and exercising stays the same. Ultimately, weight loss is governed by one thing and that is a calorie deficit. This simply means that you're consuming less calories a day than your body needs, so basically lower than your maintenance calories. That way the remaining energy requirements are pulled from your body's own fat stores, meaning that you burn fat as fuel and you lose weight. To be clear, no calorie deficit, no weight loss. That every calorie is not equal argument is just garbage. A calorie is a calorie. Just because you're eating avocado and smoothies that are loaded with nutrients does not make them any less calorific. I'm not saying that you shouldn't eat avocados. You should, they're full of good fats and they're awesome. I'm just saying that arguing calories equal less coming from good food choices is simply wrong. You can eat what you want. Eating steak and chips and drinking Diet Coke, you'll still lose more weight if you're consuming less calories of it. Now, if you have a lot of body fat to lose, your calorie deficit figure will be bigger than if you only have a little bit of weight to lose. So instead of using a flat deduct 500 calories a day, we're gonna create a deficit by subtracting 20% off your maintenance calories, which then makes it nice and easy to work out and also factors in differences in people's body weight. Also a valuable tip here, if you've got quite a bit of weight to lose and you're gonna be in a deficit for a while, remember as your weight actually goes down, so does your maintenance calorie requirements because you're gonna to start to weigh less. So as you start to lose weight and you see your weight loss slow and plateau, you need to recalculate your maintenance calories and then again deduct that 20% again, and this then becomes your new calorie target for weight loss. Now, if you'd like to work all of this out manually, I'm gonna include the equation to do just that below. But for those of you who'd rather just populate a few fields and then be shown your maintenance calories and then your weight loss calorie target, including macro recommendations, then click the link in the description of this video and use the free handy calculator, which will do all the heavy lifting for you and just give you the figures that you need and you can rerun it anytime. You can then use a free app like MyFitnessPal to track your calories and make sure that you stay in your newly worked out deficit. If you do this, you will lose weight consistently and all without a fad diet in sight. Also, if you're looking to get on the fast track to a newer, healthier you, with energy for days without having to live in the gym, eat food you hate or do mind numbing cardio, then click the other link in the description of this video and check out my brand new free mastermind training that includes the three keys that you need to know if you truly want to get fit, regain your health and get your energy back. And I will see you in the next video.